Going through all those years, Milan continues to invest money, but without making a big impact. The money that they invest nothing change, the story goes on, AC Milan continues the same cycle. Coaches change every year, players change every year, and we always rank in the middle of the table every year. This should end immediately. Our staff have analyzed the best opportunities that could bring on top Milan again. We have analyzed the transformation that Milan should make in the summer transfers, divided into two options. The low-cost transfers and the investments to be made, if this is allowed by the financial fair play. At the beginning we are starting from the base, Milan must find a coach with a winning mentality, an experienced coach. We think Allegri has all the right qualities that needed to build a winning team. Further, if Milan cannot afford to invest financially, then they should make a low-cost transfers, seeing as there are too many quality players, whose contracts expire at the end of this season. The most comfortable module to form a team, with players that are available as free agents is 4-3-3. Milan have some elements in the team that are suitable for building a great team. Gigi Donnarumma is one of them, and the Rossoneri must make everything to renew his contract, which expires at the end of next season. Also the left side of the defense is at the right level of a top team. Teo Hernandez has everything to become one of the best left back in the world. He is very fast, very good in the offensive phase, needs to be improved a lot in the defensive phase. It's a player that reminds us the legendary Serginho. Romagnoli has the potential to become a great player. He only needs a partner with a winning mentality and too much experience. Thiago Silva is the right player to help our captain to develop, as well as to increase the quality of our defense. In recent seasons, the right-back position has always been unstable in our team. Conti and Calabria haven't shown much consistency, so Milan need a more matured player. Thomas Munier is in great form with Paris Saint-Germain. He has been activated in 24 games this season, scoring one goal and two assists. According to Transfer Market, his transfer price is 30 million euros. His contract expires at the end of the season. That would be a huge move, which would significantly increase the quality of our defense. The midfield is the position that Milan must completely rebuild from the scratch. Jack Bonaventura is unable to find his good form after returning from injury. Lucas Biglia is not a player for a team like Milan. Frank Kessie is also an average player. He has no technique to score goals, to dribble and to organize the game. In this aspect Milan have suffered a lot this season, lacking an organizing midfielder supplying the attackers with balls. Only Benesser is not enough. Despite being 34 years old, David Silva is still a player that can make a difference. Currently he is activated in 25 games this season, scoring 3 goals and 7 assists. Silva is a player who has excellent dribbling skills, has great speed, a player who supplies strikers with balls, a player that Milan needs it most now. If Milan sell Kessie and Chalhanoglu, that money they have to invest in an old knowledge, to back Aoko who is still in the heart of the Rossoneri fans, who in the season that he played for us, was one of the best. Covered by back Aoko, Benesser would be safer to attack in front. As for the left wing, we think the tree bitch is showing all his potential and deserves the confirmation. A golden opportunity is the signing of winger Ryan Frazier, whose contract with Bournemouth expires at the end of the season. According to transfer market his value is 30 million euros. Frazier is 25 years old, he can play on both sides of the attack, so far he has been active in 29 games, scoring one goal and three assists. It would be a great alternative to Reed Bitch. As a forward, Ibrahimovic is the ideal player for the Rossoneri. If he decides to retire from football, then Milan should also consider some of the top forwards, who are on expired contract in the end of the season, such as Cavani, Mertens, Ilicic and Giroud. Cavani would be the rightful replacement of Ibrahimovic, seeing that he knows the Italian championship quite well and has always been a striker that has good relationship with the goals. The right wing of the attack has been one of the positions where Milan has suffered a lot. The Rossoneri have the opportunity to sign with a player like William, who they followed before he was transferred to Chelsea. The contract of Brazilian with Chelsea expires this season. Its value is 32 million euros, and it would be a big shot for the Rossoneri if they take him for free at the end of the season. Of course, it would be a miracle if the Rossoneri sign all these players as free agent, but it would be the creation of stronger team if that happens. The second option is to build a winning team by investing if we have permission by UEFA. We think that the ideal module would be 3-5-2. Milan has some great elements and only needs to invest in some wards where the quality is lacking. Mayor Ashkambula is having a great season with Hellas Verona. It's not coincidence that Verona is above us in the table standings. 
He has been active in 18 Serie A matches this season where he has scored one goal. Hellas Barona have only 24 goals conceded so far, one more than Juventus and seven less than Milan. This is also thanks to the defence, where Kambula has been one of the key players in the squad. In defence of three, Milan will also need an experienced player to help the two youngsters Kambula and Romagnoli. Thiago Silva can do this very well. Benacer is still young and needs an experienced partner at midfield. Luka Modric was rumoured for a possible transfer to the Rossoneri last summer, but it was very difficult move. Next season things may change, seeing that Modric will have a one-year contract and his age will drop his value. Despite his old age, Modric is still an essential player for the team that would significantly increase our quality. Sandro Tonali would be a great move, seeing the great potential he has. He has admitted to being a Milan fan. As a child, I went crazy for the Milan colors, and my idol was Gattuso. Hakimi is having a great season at Dortmund. He is on loan from Real Madrid, and this would not be an easy negotiation for the Rossoneri. Hakimi this season has been active in 31 games where he has scored two goals and seven assists. He is very good in both phases, in defense and can help the team in attack. This was our suggestion and opinion, but everything is in the hands of Maldini and Boban. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos.